professional start right there. I, I still think we sound like shit. No, we sound fun. a lot better, actually. You sound great. Stop being a perfectionist. Stop yeah, yeah. We just have to talk quietly. So you read a review? I mean, I sound totally blown out, but that's fine. It's... I read a review that said that they don't like when I'm on. They like when other people are on the show and that I say too many blowjobs. I talk about blowjobs too much. It's I'm, not funny. I'm on the, in the Five Timers Club, and I've never heard you talk about blowjobs on the show. Yeah, maybe I, I don't know. I mean, sucking dick every now and then, maybe I'll say. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe they just want you to like even it out and be like, yeah, sucking dick, eating puss. Yeah, like, I need to talk more yeah. about eating puss. Go ahead, puss. do a rap about <laughs> blowjobs. Well, but now they're mad. Yeah, that, that guy's, guy's not, not going to listen to this one. Good. <laughs> sucking <laughs> dick. Well, I I can't can't do it by myself. I like to suck dick. Not Not anymore, anymore, but but I I used to when I was younger. And Brendan... (laughs) I don't know what to say now. I don't know what to say. Well, Brendan started crying when you said, I (laughs) I used to. I don't like doing it anymore. He started crying. (laughs) I think every man should have to suck a dick at least once in their life. So they know what it's like. Okay. For real. Well, Sean, what's it like? Well, I'm not voting for you for president. <laughs> <laughs> what an awful law. That's my platform. Yeah, that's my... Um, I think it's equality. I think that's that's feminism right there. I just would be... I feel like I'd be so bad at it because I almost throw up every time I brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda gets mad at me for getting for gagging when I brush my teeth. I mean, it's gross. He's like... <clears throat> when well, he brushes his teeth. I know, but you have to go... You have to get back there. Yeah. But just like... Rain it in, like you don't have to choke yourself. <laughs> oh, so just g- dehumanize, like get away from like natural. I don't have a gag reflex. No I don't over. have a gag reflex anymore. <laughs> mm-hmm. My gag reflex is gone. I have, I oh, I might have a very special toothbrush that has balls on it, so I go to the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make that sound when you brush your teeth? <coughs> yeah, oh, every, every time. So That's why gross. I'm like, I, there's just no chance, like. I well, would, you don't have to put it. Do you know if you blow someone, you don't the, have to put it all the it. way in. Yeah, and just do I, it. I just, I, I would want the guy who I blow to like it. We have to introduce Sean that's, O'Connor. That's the most important part. <laughs> this of is Sean guy. O'Connell, Jerry O'Connell's brother. That's the most important part of a blowjob is to is to no, be into not. it. That's that. That's what can ruin a blowjob. I feel like pornography really has ruined sex for a whole generation of girls. Of girls? What about yeah. the boys? Well, and guys, too. I mean, well, but, like, the performance, the performance of it all, I feel like it's just, like, you know, overdone. But some like, guys want that, too. I know, yeah, but, well, like... guys want fake tits, too. And yeah. That's, that's weird, as well. I'm a Brendan on this. Like, never, when I'm getting blown, do I want to be, like, standing up, being like, oh, take it, take it, yeah. take it. I want to be like, I can get used to this. Yeah. <laughs> But also when it's just like, uh, 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 like they're just like, you know, it's like, okay, you watched a few videos. We get it. Like, you don't have to. So what do you want them to do? Be I just want everybody to be natural and cool. Everybody to be cool. Well, I don't think it's possible at this, you know, I I want them to go this thing on. (laughs) (laughs) Is that like that? That has to be somebody's joke, right? (sighs) Oh, it's definitely. Yours now. I mean, I feel like every female comedian at the comedy <laughs> store yeah. has a similar joke to that. I mean, should we take bets and call Annie Letterman and see if uh, she's done that? I mean, she's yeah. she's probably done it in real life yeah. and on stage. Yeah. <laughs> she's funny, though. She is funny. She does good. Um, do yeah, you like should... doing crowd work? Sean? Do I? Uh Yes, because I was just so good at it. But Were you really? Yeah, but I hated doing it because I just uh, wanted to. I just wanted to talk about what I wanted to talk about. Yeah. What would you like? What's your crowd work? You're like, hey, sir, that's a nice shirt. Where'd you get that? Gays are us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ma'am. Oh, I see. Uh, look. Oh, you're not wearing underwear today. Okay. Uh, yeah. so everybody, give it up for the whore in the yeah. third row. All right. <laughs> yeah, mostly that. Yeah. Oh, hey, what do we got? Mostly oh, we got that. a. That's oh, exactly, that's exactly what he I, did, I didn't do. Gays are us. We got a couple. We got a couple brothers here. Oh, check it out, man. Oh, hey, everybody, be cool. We got a couple brothers here. Hang on to your wallets. I would never, ever say that. I would never say gays are us. Brothers, I would always go. uh, You get that shit from the Gap, and then they go, yeah, and then I'd be like, gay and proud, everyone. (laughs) That's good. 
Guys, oh, we got an Asian. Uh, there's a table of Asians here. Uh, everybody, if you brought your dog with you, be careful. I would never. I would never say that. I'm that against would be that. Way, you would I'm totally just paraphrasing. Go viral. You would go viral for that shit for sure. Dude, maybe we should stage it. Like, because Steve Hofstetter staged all these heckler things, right? A hundred percent. I mean, I mean you can't to... get heckled that often <laughs> in your life. Or he sucks well, that bad. I think no, that I mean... that might be the key. Is he's such a bad comic. He's always getting heckled. <laughs> Do you remember he had a CD called The Cure for, for the, the Cable, cable Guy? guy. Oh. And it had a... A, a, a like an action figure of the cable guy hanging by yeah. a rope, like you hung him. That's funny. It's really crazy. You know, comedy. The cable I, guy, like the movie with Jim Carrey. No, like Larry. Oh, the cable guy. Oh. Where, what year were you born? Two thousand eighteen. The cable guy makes me think of the movie called The Cable Guy. But you don't think of Larry the Cable Guy. No. The most yeah. famous person on earth. No. It goes him yeah. one, no. Trump no. two, Barack Obama three. <laughs> no. I, that's why I thought that's kind of weird that he That's the way to go, though. You know, the, if, if I had it all, if I had it to do all over again, I think that's, yeah, just be, do like a Cable Guy. Like, just what's the most basic stuff you can do and a likable, kind of relatable character? You should do an album called Writing Wongs, and it's about Ali Wong. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, oh, so the, it's my answer to Ali Wong's well, yeah. comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like, it's all about your belly. You're like, there ain't no baby in this. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have actually, you know, like Ali Wong, I recorded a special when Amanda was uh, eight months pregnant. So, oh, wow. Same thing. <laughs> same kind thing. of the same idea. <laughs> I didn't hear about that. It never got released. It was too edgy. <laughs> I did all the dog eating stuff in there. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> they eat dogs in South Korea, though. Mm-hmm. They do. Sure. Yeah, but that doesn't mean every Asian person <laughs> yeah. eats them. But you know what? Maybe it's still Asian... funny, Joe. That's but one also... of the funniest moments in The Sopranos. Yeah, is when you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, when they both make that joke. <laughs> yeah, but you're also not supposed to. <laughs> they're bad guys. Yeah, they're they bad kill guys. people. Also. They're bad guys, but it's still. They are funny. I, I mean, they are it's funny. like what happened to just people having a sense of humor about everything. You know, I'll tell you what happened. Nine <laughs> eleven. I the, don't know what happened. The world changed after 9-11. It was a sleepy Tuesday morning in New York. I was watching... Uh, How do you feel about 9-11? Uh, what do you mean? Like, it Do was you like, like it or love it? At this point, I like it because <laughs> I like collecting memorabilia and I like, uh, you know, like memorials. Yeah. And I like history. It's kind of like the way the older guys, older people like World War II yeah. at this point. Like, it's like, yeah, it sucked when it happened, but now that's my whole identity. I walk around in my hat that says yeah. like whatever kind of warship I was on. Yeah, but it's just <laughs> you're just like floor sixty three. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, I mean, there aren't many survivors though. How many people survive? I mean, I guess so a lot of people many. Did. Yeah, they so walked so down the stairs all the way down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I, I don't know if I've ever yeah. told you guys this story, but there was a a moment when we, we I was doing stand up in San Diego with Norm. And this guy who, like Norm kind of knew, made a documentary and he was like, I want you to see this documentary. And it was all about this guy who was walking in the financial district on 9-11, saw it happen and like sprung to action and like ran in and started saving people. And ultimately, it's like a 15 minute documentary. And at the end, you find out that the guy died and he's like one of those anonymous bodies that they found. OK. And then everyone in the room was like, cr like tearing up like watching it yeah. and then norm goes i guess you had to know the guy <laughs> <laughs> it's like the funniest thing i'd ever heard in my entire life how did everybody react in the room? i mean i laughed yeah. <laughs> that's so cool you got to like be his friend and the 9-11 guy yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah this documentary did you ever go uh did you ever go to norm's house and eat dinner Ne I've been to his house. I never ate dinner there. What do you have? He had like a condo situation. Yeah, he had two condos. Nice, nice place. Oh yeah, great condos and great areas too. Yeah, well that's good. A condo. I could. What happened do it. to those? I have no idea. I, I assume they get sold or whatever. Yeah, should, like, he should have willed one to you. That would have been nice. He should have. He should have. Nice. You want to live in a condo though? No, oh, that's what I mean. No, in Venice. Yeah, I would in... love to live in a condo in Venice. With all the, were there a lot of home homeless? In his condo, yeah. Yeah, I was walking around. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> when you leave the building, the unhoused. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there were. 
Unhoused, unhoused neighbors. Yeah, there are people now at um, at the stoplight, like at Los Feliz, that I try to sell flowers. Yeah, yeah. And Marley always is like feels so bad and wants to buy a flower. Now are for, they like, ten dollars? Un- are they unhoused or are they just people selling I flowers? Don't know. Like, because where are they I getting? Would think that, I would think that they're not unhoused if they can get fr- go to the flower store and then get to the intersection I, I don't know i wonder how much like street vendors actually do pull in like i mean i, I you know i know none of them are like i don't know like our fruit guy know. does pretty well i think like he's it's not that's the thing it's like you think like you're buying something off the street and it's going to be like oh this is going to be a deal but then yeah. you realize like wait a minute i just spent twenty dollars they're on up two charging you yeah that, yeah and there's there's a there's a taco there's taco people on, uh, <laughs> uh, taco tent on the corner. That's not yeah. racist. Corner. That's not yeah. racist. The taco people. <laughs> it wasn't, and then you clarified it. <laughs> Got to make it uh, clear. They're taco people, Mexicans. We don't know what they what look saying. like. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but uh, there's so there's like this thing, and I, I wonder what the legality of it is. I mean, I've been on the phone with. I've been trying to get them locked up for a while. <laughs> no, but I don't know what the. Legality is because it just like it's like a tent, like you know, like a uh, you know one of those tents that they use, and a whole kind of thing with you know they got a thing of meat on a but like kind of like a gyro kind of thing. The yeah. Al store, yeah. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, but I think it's chicken, right? Well, you can oh. have chicken al pastor. No, it's, it's just the way it's cooked, I think, like a rotisserie almost. Yeah, but then, it's a whole. It like looks a, like, like it's Zancu, all pieced like together, like like, like a gyro. Well, yeah, you though. put like chicken oh different layers chicken. okay yeah. and then you shave it off yeah you know that how you know that he's a, he goes there every day i love it well there is always a line there but that place and it's i get it's funny because when it's not there during the day and you walk your dog past there dogs go fucking nuts, tina's like you trying know? to roll yeah, she tries to rub herself in oil. it but i don't know like i went there i got stuff from there once or twice and i was like oh i'll get a quesadilla and like, didn't go crazy just ordered like a few tacos and a quesadilla it was like $30. Yeah. And I was like, wait, what the fuck? This is like... I thought it'd be like a dollar for like, a taco. There's no overhead here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it, you know, you're you're paying for an authentic experience. I mean, it's like there's meat. no health inspection. It's like you're paying for... Did you, you ever know. get a... Did you ever leave the, a bar and and get like one of those street meat hot dogs? Not really. Sell? I was never a late night. I don't like eating they late They smell so good, but yeah, I remember well, getting you know one it is. of yeah, the onions. It's not that good. And they're like, they're like cooking it on like a shopping cart. Yeah. Yeah, where I'm like, I don't... Like, <laughs> I don't yeah, they co- what do they coat those things in? You're cooking off all the coating. Yeah, it's like... like I, yeah, you, yeah, there's but no... I, but but I, it's not even that as good as... Even when you're drunk, you're like, oh, this isn't... That I love good. a taco tent, though. I think those usually deliver. I think those are usually... It was really great. Good, it yeah. was great. You I was just like not expecting corner. for like, you know... F- like four tacos and a quesadilla. It was yeah, like you thirty gone to, I'm like, yeah. well, wait, what? Is, each one of these things was like five dollars. That seems like that's a that's a lot. But you know what? Inflation, thanks to Joe Biden. Now. Yeah, great. That's why I'm voting for Trump. Everything has gone up though with with uh, Joe Biden. It's I just was watching a thing like the percentages of everything has gone up quite a bit. And you know, another thing I noticed was uh, credit card like APRs are just out of control. Every credit card's like eighteen <coughs> percent. That's not even that bad. I feel like no, that's crazy. It used to be like it was like eight percent not that long ago. Yeah, like in maybe in the nineteen sixties, Brendan. No, no, it was, I, it was not that is, long it ago. It always is like twenty four. Yeah. No, it's that's insane. That's yeah, insane. That's insane. But what? I guess there's nothing it anybody can illegal. do about it. No, they want. This is the thing. They want us mad at the wrong people when we should be mad at the right people. Yeah. Who are the right people? And don't say I Italians. know Italians. <laughs> the Italians. <laughs> <laughs> the Italians are holding us back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Andrew Dice Clay. I do Italian. think it's fun. I do like the Italian jokes because I've never really been around an Italian, so I don't really know anything about. <laughs> Oh them, you know, or co- they just seem to me like, nor you know, like regular. Did like, you ever I see the Jersey notice. Shore? Yeah, not really. But those are their best. <laughs> <laughs> that's snooky. the cream of the crop. They went. It's like the Olympic team of the Italian. It's like the Italian yeah. Olympic. Those team. are the only Italians who have ever taken the SATs. <laughs> <laughs> Polly, or wait, what's you know what called? they got on their SATs? What? Pasta sauce. <laughs> 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 that. Spaghetti. That's a good one. That's a good one. 
I mean, did you you had Italian friends, Brendan? <laughs> yeah, Jerry Volpe. He's like so Italian. We used to call him. Uh, <laughs> we used to call him CC for chocolate covered. <laughs> I didn't make that. Wait, up, why? What does that mean? Because he's so dark. He was like a, oh, we also called him Ethy because he looked like an Ethiopian. He was so skinny <laughs> and dark. I mean, my best friend is Nick Maritato. He's very. He's so Italian. Okay. He's yeah. so Italian. I don't care. His uh, his mom has a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I watched that White Lotus that was in Italy, but all the Italians seemed pretty like. Well, they're the good. good they're the good Italians. <laughs> Italians from Italy are fine. It's the Italians from like New uh, Jersey, Philly, right, yeah. right, right, right. New York. Yeah, they're not sending their best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a reason they wound up here. <laughs> there is no such thing as Thanksgiving in Italy. It is an American holiday. Thanksgiving is very big in Sicily on account of the large number of Sicilians who went to America and then got thrown back out. They sent the bad ones to New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. um, we got to find us. Uh, Sean and I went to a monster truck uh, rally. Vroom, vroom. But it was a little underwhelming, right? It was. It I'm was. still kind of digest. I feel like I'm. I have like PTSD from it or something. Uh, I at least have COVID from it. But <laughs> <laughs> it was. You're packed in there, mm -hmm. and then like it was fucking nuts. Like they made us all stand up and hold our hearts uh, and look at the American flag oh, as they God. as they played proud to be an American, not even the national anthem. <laughs> they started it with like two thirds of proud to be an American. Yeah. Like they didn't even finish it. And there was like an American flag in the rafters. It was, it was at an expo center, which I don't know what else they do there. It seems like rodeos is yeah. kind of what See, it's See, I thought for. it would be at like a stadium, like a That's, huge... I mean, th they have those too. Well, this is what I realized. They're not sending like, their best. <laughs> it's like wrestling. Like, it's like we basically went to the lowest tier wrestling. Like, yeah. you know, it's like they have like the WWE... WrestleMania, WrestleMania, which is like that is the that's the cream of the crop. Mm -hmm. But then you could go to the Expo Center and see like a bunch of like washed up guys and a couple guys trying to make it. it yeah, it was a bingo hall. Like basically, there was like two. There was two old monster trucks, and like the guys who drove it were like rode hard and put away wet, like you know, like just like sunburn, like eternal sunburn, <laughs> yeah, yeah, with like yeah. long blonde hair that they're holding on to it, but it's like they're uh, this part that I'm also. You talking about the drivers? <laughs> yeah, the drivers. Yeah, yeah. And then like the other two had, who had cool monster trucks were like ten. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was a girl, and that, that was the other thing, was, like, it really was catering to... Well, one thing that distracted me, so, like, it's all... I bought the VIP tickets, so I'm thinking, like, okay, well, this will get us something. You yeah. know, like, you get some kind of special... It gets you nothing. Yeah. Um, except we got to... You could go in a little early, which I fucked up because I didn't have cash to pay for the the yeah. uh, parking. I mean, that's yeah. kind of a sign if it's like you don't have a card reader or something. Yeah. At, at I the, mean, usually you know I'm prepared I mean? with cash. It was well, the only time that I had in high cash on me, yeah. but... But Brendan was like, we got VIP tickets. He's like, I think they let us finger the drivers. <laughs> well, the one driver, there was a female driver who <laughs> drove a shark, uh, a, sh a shark attack. Is that shark what it was attack? Called? Yeah. That was a cool looking yeah. car, and it was a lady driver, which I'm curious. I mean, I do want to kind of like tour with that company with a camera like make a documentary and a fictionalized movie like i feel like there's it's such a interesting world probably and that like low tier monster truck traveling yeah circus there was a lot of bodies they had like not there was four monster trucks but then there was like eight atvs with their mm. own drivers then there was a hype man well, he's probably the guy who yeah. runs the whole thing. Yeah. The announcer, there's like an announcer who's like, all right, everybody. Give it up for the cops. Yeah. Give it up for the cops. Yeah, really, oh, give yeah. it up for the firefighters. Barely. I didn't even say the firefighters. Or... He, I think he said firefighters last. Yeah. It was it was military. But you got to give it up for the cops. Oh, God. And everybody was there. there. And, and there was a guy. So it's all like bleacher seating. And uh, so we went and walked around and actually, you know, like it wasn't so bad that I was so late because there really was not an hour and a half's worth of yeah. stuff to do down in the free pit pass. Yeah. And like your kids got to wait in line. There was one truck that looked like a dinosaur. T-Rex, maybe? T-Rex, yeah. 
And uh, well, that there was, was a big long line for him. And in the lady in Shark Attack, there was no line, so we got to get our pictures taken with her. And the Shark Attack one was cooler than the T Rex yeah. one, but yeah, it was just obviously cool. like, "You're a lady. You yeah. shouldn't be behind it's weird. a wheel." Yeah, yeah, because the guy even said that he's like, "She's a lady, but she don't drive like one." <laughs> yeah. oh my God. And it's like, what is her fucking life Poor like thing. on the road with this thing? Because she was like a young, attractive. She's probably the guy's daughter. Or like one of, or Goliath's Maybe. Daughter. I imagine you are b- b- born into, like, much like wrestling, maybe yeah. it's like you're from a monster truck family. Yeah. I mean, where or you, you even... are bitten by a monster truck driver. <laughs> 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 I mean, where does, how, how do you even get a monster truck? Well, you have to get it, you have to make it. Right. And they make the whole body. Where do you like, get the tires? Oh my God. Special I mean, place. where mon- would you go? The monster truck store. <laughs> I know. It's like, it's a whole other universe. You just no- need to know monsters are made. They're not born that way. Amen. Like Godzilla. <laughs> like Godzilla. Or, or King Kong. Do you like those movies? Godzilla versus Kong? Uh, Yeah, I was like so pumped. I didn't see the new one, but the uh, last one. Is that the one that won an Oscar? No, that's... Uh, Godzilla minus one. What yeah. is that? I want to see that. There's no way to watch it. I it's tried to foreign. look it up. Yeah, it's it's from Japan. It, uh, apparently it fucking rocks. But yeah. the last Godzilla vs. Kong was so cool because it's like they knew about that they were fighting each other and it was a big deal for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, what are the biggest tires you have? Uh, we can order some of the tires. Can you get like l- legit monster truck tires? Where do we get those? I wouldn't be able to tell you where. Maybe online, maybe? I, I wouldn't know. Do I need to know, like, a secret code? I have Sean O'Connor here. Yeah, and what website? Like, monstertrucks.com? Oh. <laughs> He's got no time. He's busy. I well, should have told him I loved him off the bat. <laughs> I was thinking that's just a call. Should we call a gun store and just tell them that we love them? Yeah. Okay. And say so you're... And you're, and you're we're gay. And your mom loves you. Yeah. So, but to, back to the monster <laughs> truck. Uh, there was a guy. So it's it's all bleacher seating, right? And and so we're done with our, you know, walking around in the dirt, sitting on an ATV and getting a picture taken with the lady. And then we get uh, uh, some snacks, which it was a six dollar slice of Domino's pizza, <laughs> that was like putrid looking. It was it, the worst slice. It, it of It was pizza like ever. truly from like they found in the Domino's trash <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. yeah, and like it was cold, and there was pepperoni on it, which they did not say it was pepperoni. Yeah, it's like this is for a kid. Kids yeah. don't eat pepperoni. Uh, I mean, oh some God. do maybe, but uh, so then it's like okay, well now we got to find seats, and it's just all bleacher seat. And it's all full, and then there was like a big kind of open spot like in the middle, and it's like let's go up here, and there's like. A guy with, uh, I want to say, he was a taco guy. Uh, he's wearing a... You didn't want to say it. It's nationality. I didn't want to get too descriptive. <laughs> well, it was, he was the kind of guy. Here's the kind of guy. And listen, he's a lot a of these guys are, are super nice, but he was he was very intimidating. Dodgers tap, do, Dodgers hat, mm-hmm. uh, face tattoos, maybe? I know he had tattoos on his knuckles. He had tattoos on his knuckles. Ooh, like, that's, and that's old, older worse. guy, like, too, but, like, you know, maybe, like, 50 yeah you know but or like late 40s yeah. early 50s in shape and obviously ready to, fight. Ready yeah. to look yeah. and yeah. looking for fucking trouble yes and he had so he has a whole probably 12 feet there's 12 feet open next to him mm-hmm. uh, on on the bleacher and he's like, that's my family sitting there or whatever. There was like a water bottle at one end or whatever. And then he had like a, a tray with four full beers on it too. And it's like, okay. Then the lady behind him's like, these, nobody's sitting here that she said to us, like right behind him. So we all sat there and, uh, he was also muttering under his mouth when we, uh, cause I was right behind him. Yeah. He just kept going like, not listening to me, like, like not listening to me. Oh, oh really? God. Yeah, I was like, oh my god! Like, no, he and, and then he stared both of us down. <laughs> every time I, I looked at him a couple times, and he was like straight up like, like, where's my camera? Yeah, he he was staring <laughs> at us both. Now, to be fair, I was wearing a salmon colored uh, like sweatshirt. He was wearing a, a bright pink sweatshirt. Yeah, holding my son's hand, 
And then, and on the back of his shirt, there was an arrow pointing now that said, "All men welcome." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which he didn't see. Yeah, he couldn't see that part. And then Brendan walks in looking like this, like by you fear. Know what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I had a vi- I had my visor on, and uh, I had a normal, you know, because I did think about. It. I almost wore my yellow hoodie, and I was like, "That's too much." Yeah, you know, yellow hoodie, and then a visor, and and uh, so yeah, I, I I I never even thought of it, but Sean. I don't think he thought we were a gay couple. I just think I don't he know. Just... He, the look on his face every time we kissed our sons on the mouth. Yeah. Like, whenever something cool happened, you kiss your son on the yeah. mouth. And then we, we actually, at one point, our sons ducked, and Sean and I accidentally kissed each other. It's like a Three Stooges kind of situation. I'm poisoned. He did not like that. I think it was just like, and that's, that's, you know, the guy staring me down. And also, I'm, you know, I do get panicked in like that kind of scenario where it's just like, you're just crowded. It like, there's just, it was, I was having like, I was very close to a panic attack just in the situation we were in. You were so tight too. And like, we were in the middle. So like both ways is just full of people. And then the way down is through a man who's waiting for you. Just just waiting for you to step out of line, hit the line he created that you don't know what it is, but you want to stay as far away from it as possible. Yeah. And, and just legit, just staring me down. Like he knew me and fucking hated you, hated me. And so I just wouldn't, I just blocked him out. Because at one point, too, so his family shows up brief. Like, they kind of kept coming in and out, too. And, they kept uh, going to get more beer for him. Yeah. He was like... And whatever. And then, so there was, like, a younger, youngish girl with, like, maybe her boyfriend or husband. Maybe they had a little kid. They know. had a little kid, yeah. So, and she had, like, you know, some shirt on that, like, you know, showed a lot of the her back. And there was a tattoo on her back of, like, a heart. That was like a balloon or whatever had a string on it, and our three-year-old boy touched it. Uh, was like, oh, you know, touched yeah. it. And she did like, not respect out, like, her Sorry. personal space. <laughs> yeah, how could but he? But that's that's the first time I saw the guy. Yeah. Like, it, like he was gonna. I was like, oh, he's gonna kick my ass for a th- my three-year-old son touching his daughter or whatever. Like it was yeah. really. Yeah. So that kind of overshadowed this already. You were scared. I should have been. You were scared. Well, I was just very aware, and then it that then him. His his attitude towards us made me realize, like, you looked around, and if if the guy on the microphone said, okay, we get to pick two people to beat up in the crowd, everybody, look around, which two people should we beat up? Everybody, imme- like, they wouldn't even <laughs> yeah. have to look. Yeah, we, we were directly in the middle, too. Like, a spotlight would so easily <laughs> find us. But there was, like, no other, like, we were, th- we did not No other white people, there. that's what you're It wasn't saying. just white no, people. No, there was, was a lot of white people, yeah. but there were a certain type of white people. I think they were cops. They that were, like, loved bald. the military and cops Yeah, and, and they were wearing black yeah. shirts with, like, black American flags on it. <laughs> oh there just God. wasn't any, like, there was not one, like hipster there ironically there was not one person where you're like oh he seems like just so much testosterone in one it's not testosterone it's like something else yeah i did not see like one (laughs) modest mouse shirt no No, what's the one that's like the joy Joy division Division. yeah Yeah, joy division that's uh those guys really you know that guy really had it figured out make like one great album and kill yourself come on it's not gonna get better than that to paint a picture of this guy though who wanted to uh kick the shit out of us there was like a, a ATV race, and then uh, a- oh, yeah. after like the guy, the main guy lost, and he got on the microphone, and he was like, "Now I'm from Texas, <laughs> and you know Texas is a great place because women are in the kitchen where they and, belong. Yeah, where he they said belong. That for real? For well, re- he's trying to. He's, this is this is like wrestling. That yeah, guy was a Texas heel. versus California, and a yeah. California woman beat him oh. in the race. So he's like. So I come to liberal California and like all oh, women are racing. And then this guy's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah women I, do belong in the kitchen. Yeah. It was like, yeah, it basically, I, I mean, so it, it is, it is like a form of wrestling where it's like, you know, and the announcer guy too, it's just all so like poorly thought out. I mean, they're all alcoholics. I, I shouldn't say that, but probably the announcer guy got this thing up and running, just keeps it going with minimal whatever he's probably shit faced every night he doesn't have any kind of spiel he's worked out kind of an act over the years and he's like uh 
All right. So, like, yeah, they would have these ATV races. Here's the other thing, too. The event itself combined 11 minutes of action, yeah, 11 maybe. Minutes. It was sucks. mostly like, cars idling yeah. off to the side. Yeah. Going, Who wants to see another monster truck battle? And all it was was the monster truck would just do, like, a little jump. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they would line up. Uh, perpendicular, like one facing this way, one facing that way at a, at a line, and there was like a little ramp, and the, the battle was they would drive around, jump over the ramp, and whoever got back to the line first won, but literally it is a 1.5 second <laughs> lap <laughs> from you jump, you go around, and... Uh, what was the company name? Well, the... I mean, uh, was it Monster Truck Rally? Like It was called, let me see, Monster Truck Wars. A 10-star was the uh, ticketing company. Mm. City of Industry Monster Truck Wars. Oh. So Monster Truck Wars. But now I've seen, like, well, I guess because I one? bought that, there's one that's coming to, like, the Toyota Center. That that yeah. looks like the WWE of, of Monster Truck. What was that's very Monster funny... Jam. Monster, Monster Jam. Monster Jam. So that's the big one. Yeah, yeah. It was very funny because the wife of the guy who uh, wanted to kick the shit out of us was looking up she monsters. She was ordering yeah. tickets. <laughs> like, 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 this sucks. This is, it was also funny because her phone got stuck on like the filter where you look all sparkly. So she was taking videos of the monster trucks all sparkly <laughs> doing like donuts. It was very yeah, funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, Maybe Monster Jam will be a little more. But um, it was so civilized. like the environment was so scary that I couldn't even enjoy. Like I, I had no enjoyment because I also, when you have a little, you know, my three year old son, I'm like I can't get beat up. Like no. I can't if anything happens. I don't know what. I mean, it says something too to like for someone that ready to fight when he sees that you're with two little kids. Like he doesn't. Well, that's care. the thing. We just really were just like. I felt like we had targets on our back just from everybody there where it's just like, we all really have nothing in common. Like we're here just for our kids and like maybe as a like, oh, this might be like a goofy fun thing to do. But then it's like, you take it seriously. It's like we, went, like we wandered into like a mafia, like cockfight thing where we're like, oh, wait, this isn't fun at all. This yeah. is not. Yeah. It was, it sorry, was, it sorry, was, you got dragged into it. No, it was so. I mean, it was fine. It, it was, was like it I was, had a good time. Yeah, it it was just fun. I knew I had to put my copy of the New Yorker away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, and then the the event itself really was so underwhelming because then they had that does suck because I've seen a friend of mine went to it must have been Monster Jam because she posted she has a two year old boy. And it looked so cool, like jumping over like yeah. school buses and smashing yeah, stuff. Yeah, none and, of that here. And they loved it. So I, I know. I, was I want to go to that. Like, yeah. Because this is also interesting because they also try to build this like backstory between two robots. <laughs> like one was a dinosaur and one was just a robot guy. Yeah, one was like the good, he was called the- Galactatron. Galactatron. And, and, the, and the robots too. And this was another thing too, like with the-, with the uh, the ATV, the four wheeler races, the guy, and you know, he does this at everyone. It's like, all right, now this comes down. It's Texas versus. I wonder if he changes the state for the other. Yeah, one. definitely. Like, oh, yeah. it's Texas versus New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, and this is for the grand championship or whatever. It's like, of what? Like, <laughs> there's no trophy or anything. Like <laughs> and they do two races, and one team wins one, and the other team wins the other one, to the, which is the big one that matters. But there's just no state like you just he doesn't even create any kind of i mean false... are people into it like whoa they, like well, cheering really. them on. they don't really they have like a shitty soundtrack it's like they do like we will welcome rock to the you jungle and welcome to the jungle and then when like the robots were transforming into the robots because they're just cars it goes like all right here's galactron and then you just hear well yeah and it's they're not cars it's, it goes way too it's long. construction equipment it's <laughs> yeah. it's one of those lifts that with like a basket on it that you'll go up to fix a fucking power line with. And this is sounds crazy. So they what they did was, you know, when it's down, so crazy. they just built like a body on this thing out of like uh, 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 what do you call fiberglass or something. So like when it's down, it kind of looks like some kind of armored vehicle. But then it like, yeah, the crane lifts up like like the kind of just heavy equipment on a construction site super low and then it's like oh and then it's got some like 
missiles on the side of it that like kind of went up and down and yeah then... that shoot fireworks and then but the my favorite part the part that i laughed and i was like i'm gonna i deserve to get stomped out by the guy in front of us for this is yeah. there's just silence and then the big fat guy who ran the thing is like it seems like the audio is not working for galactron <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> So we have yeah, no yeah. idea what the fight was about. So the whole thing was like, and it's obvious, like, um, there is a whole dialogue and the guy, whether there's a recording or the guy inside of it has some kind of like, let me see if I can find like a voice. Oh, no. Like a robot voice. Hello. That's close. That's probably good. No, that probably that maybe that. Good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it probably has a voice that's like, I will defeat you. My, what was the other guy's name? Uh, Re Reptar. 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 Yeah. I fight for truth, justice, and the American way. <laughs> and then like two M80s go up inside the fake uh, torpedoes. Reptar, you are Chinese. We will destroy you. <laughs> you are Chinese. Yeah. You're from communist really, China. Yeah. We believe in God and Jesus. I mean, it all very was. It really was very like fucking. You like, don't want to be around those kind of people. You're closer than you think. Like, honestly, if we heard what he said it would have been like i'm you going chinese to scum <laughs> take that turban off i'm gonna wipe my ass with it <laughs> get this round hand out of here we only like americans speak english go back to your own fucking country <laughs> but the Galacticon <laughs> voice didn't it, it didn't work. It didn't work. So, we didn't so then hear. the 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 hungover uh, Barnum and Barman Barnum and <laughs> Bailey Barnum. guy had to. Uh, he's like, well, we're not having. So ba I think what he's me what he's in what he's saying is that he needs to defeat Repticon. Yeah, because his whole thing was like. He represents all that is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Reptar represents all that is evil. <laughs> and lots of like speeches to the kids like, now remember, evil you must always uh, be, victor, be yeah. victorious over evil. Yeah, like but, good like, must vague. triumph over evil. <laughs> Just for a reminder, evil things include abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they didn't get into abortion. <laughs> Chinese drivers. <laughs> There's some videos of Galactic Tron on online here. That now this so one even funny. looks a little different, but yeah, it's just a. Uh... If I lose, I will have to suck Reptar's dick. <laughs> <laughs> Being gay is against Jesus. I have tested positive for AIDS. <laughs> Reptar gave me AIDS. <laughs> he must be destroyed. <laughs> Take this robot mask and stick it up your ass. <laughs> Truck COVID was created in a lab. <laughs> Galacticon, Galacticon is a transforming so robot funny. owned by Dave Weak Weeserets, who battles Reptar at a monster truck a monster from, truck show from the rug rat. I know they just <laughs> stole Reptar, and re this Reptar sucks. The other Reptar fucking rules. Uh, yeah, yeah, That's Reptar, so and I think this is a Reptar. different Reptar. That's but so yeah, funny. Reptar at monster truck shows and exhibitions. It has performed for Monster Jam, Monster Truck Des Destruction Tour, and others. Oh, uh, so we're seeing like the tail end of uh, Galactron's career. Yeah, he's or like, retire. I mean, you know, it's just, I guess you just have to keep busy. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, or maybe I mean, you're just not invited back. He's like, like after my wife left me <laughs> <laughs> and I have to pay so much in alimony. Half of Galactron's income goes to Deborah, the fat whore who won't marry her stupid boyfriend Dave to get me off the hook for alimony. <laughs> I hope you enjoy that truck, Dave. I'm making the fucking payments on it. And I'm, uh, 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 all right, ladies and gentlemen, it sounds like Galactatron's voice box is cut out again. What he's basically saying is, you know, cops are good guys, robbers are bad guys, and any country outside of the U.S. of A can suck my dick. Am I right, everybody? 
Uh, honestly, we should just do the sponsor truck show. I think this is a, a that would be. F- you guys would in, in saying that kind of shit too. And you know what? People would probably be into it. I mean, I I, I really so would be down to write some kind of a script about this. Uh, I mean, it would be interesting. Like, I, I feel like delving into the world a little bit would be helpful. Well, but I think I've to, got it kind of figured yeah. out what's going on there. You need to infiltrate. Go to a few more of these well, shows. It's not about infiltrating. It's just camera. Like, I really do. I, I think making documentaries is something that... I am interested in like uh, oh yeah and honestly I feel like these guys would take any promotion yeah, yeah. They, except maybe I don't know we'd have to like interview the interview maybe the get character. Andre Highland or somebody to like be the Fuck face with them of a little our bit. Com- well uh, no just to look like I don't think we can look like us <laughs> yeah <laughs> what a, well Andre Highland looks like He's got like a mullet kind of like he can. He's like oh, he can, I see. He can like do a like a mustache and like a like a redneck. I don't kind know. Of a thing. I just, he does like characters that are that, but I guess you don't want a character. And maybe they would be. Uh, I think so, if we just dressed exactly like Al Borland on Home Improvement, we could infiltrate that <laughs> very yeah. easily. <laughs> yeah, maybe just the, yeah. Leave the, your mo- mo- uh, modest mouse shirt out. at home. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> here's one called Robosaurus. Now he's got That's a whole a paragraph name. about him. I love Robo Tussin. That is why I have called this. <laughs> Take Robo Tussin when you are sick. <laughs> or not. It doesn't matter. You can have Robo Tussin anytime. It can get you high. <laughs> the uh I, I think the um also one thing that was odd too is like so we you know, we Sean's son was wanted to get some merch from the from the uh, rally. And so we we're kind of waiting. And then like miles, our kid was kind of getting a, you know, he hit that three year old threshold yeah. of like, you know, he can't sit still anymore and he's going to do something fucking step on their hot dog in front of us and get that guy to just like stab my neck. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, let's just go. We'll go and like come back. And then like, as soon as we, got out of our seats the thing was over it just like ended on some anticlimactic i don't even know what they were doing it ended 45 minutes before it said it was going to end oh yeah. my god and it started 15 minutes later yeah, yeah. than they said it was going to start it was 30 minutes the the entire show was like yeah 30 minutes long about and literally there were maybe four rounds of monster wars which was that 1.5 second lap and a jump so and then the uh, Galactic on crush versus anything like that's nothing sucks. got crushed. It, have you ever been to medieval times? Yes. It, it was the equivalent of going to medieval times, and there was just like four horses and a guy <laughs> wearing a crown. Yeah. And you're like, where's the uh, yeah? yeah? And then there's a guy who just wants to stab you to death. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, in the in the audience. We should go to medieval times though. That would. But be then, fun. It, so then it, it lets out, and then so you know, I buy Miles a um, a flag or whatever, and Sean got uh, his kid. Uh, it was like a, a butt plug. I don't know what <laughs> yeah, that. It looked like a shark though. Yeah. <laughs> For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. For the full uncut episode, head to patreon.com slash world record podcast. Patreon.com slash World Record Podcast. World-